Greetings, I'm Doc Griffin, your Swing Surgeon Director of Club Fitting Operations, and it's time again for the Doctor's House Call. We're going to continue today with the series on club fitting and the steps that I go through in the process of fitting up people for the proper equipment. Uh, series, first part of the series was finding the correct length. Today we're going to deal with how I go about finding the proper shaft, which is the next step in what I do as far as the fitting process. Uh, we actually go into the fitting studio where I have a hitting bay outside, set up our pieces of equipment, uh, which involve using the flight scope uh, 3D Doppler radar. Uh, it's a pretty intricate piece of equipment. If you would like to get a little bit better understanding of what it is and what it does, you can go to my website, www.docgriffingolf.com and go to the tab for All About Fitting and it will explain uh, 3D Doppler radar. It's, it's pretty interesting and, and probably would enjoy reading it and getting a better understanding of what this piece of equipment does. Uh, short of telling me what size shoe you wear, it gives me a lot of information. Club head speed, ball speed, spin rate, launch angle, angle of descent, side spin. Uh, I can go to screens that show me uh, your acceleration curve, uh, the deflection of the shaft, uh, swing path, angle of attack, uh, face angle at impact. I mean it's, it's just a dynamite piece of equipment and it allows me to gather uh, the information that I'm looking for when we're doing shaft selection. Uh, when I'm looking at shafts, uh, one of the first things is I want to ascertain what the club head speed is because this will tell me what kind of physical properties of the shaft the individual is going to need. Uh, now, I know there are going to be questions, well, with this club head speed, what do I need? There's more involved than just club head speed, but this is the primary and first thing that I look at. So don't ask for recommendations based on the blog, I can't give it to you without actually going for a fitting and seeing you here and have or the long distance fitting and having you actually give me pertinent information uh, that would be necessary to glean the information. Um, another important consideration is whether the person has arthritis or not. If they have arthritis or they have an exceptionally low club head speed, then graphite shafts are certainly a good thing. Uh, if they don't have arthritis or exceptionally low head speed, there's absolutely no reason, uh, i repeat that, no reason, hear me again, no reason to go to graphite. In spite of what you've been fed by the OEMs that you will hit graphite further, the older you get, the more you need graphite. It's just, it's just not right. Uh, they're trying to sell you a higher priced piece of equipment because graphite shafts uh, in clubs, in retail, cost you more. They don't, in essence, really cost that much more. I sell graphite clubs and steel clubs for the same price, so uh, don't fall for that ploy that you think by going to graphite you're going to suddenly hit the ball further. What happened when graphite first came out, they were using the same heads that they had steel shafts in. Uh, graphite weighed less, the head still weighed the same, so they had to make the shaft a little longer to get the balance and everything to come out correct. So the shaft of the graphite was a half inch longer. So yeah, they were telling you the truth. It was longer. It was longer by a half inch. A half inch would equate to about a mile and a half to two miles per hour club head speed, which would be about three yards. Not worth it. But anyway, we uh, ascertain whether they need graphite or steel, and then we start looking at the other properties based on the numbers. Do they need a low kick shaft, mid kick, high kick? Do they need a lightweight, mid weight, or a heavier weight? Uh, and this is all based on the person, their physical characteristics, their swing, their, their way to load the shaft, the way they release the club. Uh, do they need a high torque or low torque? Um, so we're looking at the basic parameters of the dynamics of the swing of the individual in order to determine the proper shaft. The shaft is the engine of the golf club, if you will, and it is very important that we get the proper shaft and the dynamics of the shaft to, admit, to uh, fit the characteristics of the golfer. So that is step number two. 
and it is probably the most arduous or long uh, takes the longest amount of time um, in doing this is to, to get the right shaft because I only get one shot at that. So uh, length of shaft and then proper shaft. Those are the first two steps. And that's it for this part of the series. Next week we'll move on to step three. Uh, we appreciate your uh, continued support for Surge in the blog. And as always, remember that better golf is just a fit away.